Welcome to Board Game Archaeology, where we play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today, we're playing the Shifty Gear game. Another shopper game from 1962, my year of birth. We have the Shifty Gear game. This awesome game is one of those plastic phenomenal things again, made with all plastic gears and funness. And it's a game for four players, an eight to adult. And we're going to get to that right now. The goal of the game, hypothetically how a person would win this game, is to start at one of the corners and then like reach their uh, their, their colored finished wheel that will like come out. Uh, in this case, blue's finished blue wheel there. Finished. Um, but that is how a person would win this game. Yes, it's also a dice driven game. So each player, pick who goes first, high roll goes first, will go. And with the number on the dice, each one of these beautiful plastic colored things, you have 15 colors of your own. So if you're blue, you have 15 colors. You have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they're all of different sizes, six being the biggest, one being the smallest. You have 15 things to try to get from here to there to make it work. Now, the box does have some helpful hints, and we're still trying to figure out how helpful they are. So you have 15 points, and the other team is going through there with their, their 15 pieces too. So the dice reflect on the number that you get to play. Yeah, and so you can move any pieces that you already have out on those rolls as well. So if you roll a three, you can rather bring a new three into the mix or move a, a three that's already on the board. It wasn't clear as to whether it's like, you know, if you have one on, you take it off and kind of put it off the board. I think that's fair. Oh, we feel it's a must, honestly. And we got to get to that right away. Uh, it looks cool. It's a great plastic game. It's almost impossible to do without us both studying it and doing it. And I've tried a number of times, and this just isn't an easy game to play. And that's why the Shifty Gear game is not one of the more recognizable games in our world, for sure, because it's incredibly difficult to get that thing to go there. Now that we have it, we're going to take a picture of it. <laughs> and that way, if we ever have to do it again, we'll be able to look at the picture. And, and there are arrangements that have worked for us that we have mirrored uh, with like the red say in the exact same way across the board. And the board is 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 symmetrical to some degree, uh, not down the line this way or anything, but um, I tried to recreate it and they look very close and they almost operate, but it's just far enough where something that operates well on one side won't necessarily on the other. And I think it's a weakness of the mold or aging or something. Yeah. And I, and I, yeah, I say aging, but it's plastic. It didn't get smaller. I think they were just molded badly. I just, I think this game was quickly produced in 1962. Plastic was fun and cool. They made something bright and shiny and uh, they stopped making it probably in 1963, I'm guessing. Well, like the goals of a lot of these games, uh, I'm sure this kept a lot of kids busy for a disproportionate amount of time. I don't know if they form the same kind of good memories that that is usually <laughs> arranged with. Because when we were rolling, when we were playing the fair way of, 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 you know, roll, it's five. You sit there and you're like, okay, I need to move a one. And like, it becomes like, it's one thing when you're kind of putting it out. Cause it's fun to, to roll a thing and go, oh, you know, I can connect that using like the, the board and stuff to be like, oh, you know, like the two and the two go together and it's fun to build them towards. But then you get to that point where you have them all on the board and you, you're really just waiting to get on this thing. You could play it in a more manageable way where it's basically like you take turns. And one of the alternative play modes is that where you don't roll the dice. You just take turns to do it. And believe me, it's still going to be a long game. Yeah. In the end, even when we dropped, we were like, okay, forget the semblance of a competitive atmosphere. <laughs> Let's just find out how to connect them. And so that took some time in itself. So. so, And we connected one row across it. The second we thought of having another row go through it and using an opponent's gears, and by the rules, you can't lock it in place. You can't move it so everything locks and you can't block the other player's thing. So trying to go through and use something that's 
already impossible to pick when you're trying to do it yourself and then having curveballs thrown into that chaos all the time. It's it's an impossibly difficult game. Better piece of artwork than it is a game. Yeah, and it is it is a really cool idea. I was very intrigued by the Shifty Gear game because I was I I like big dumb spinny contraptions Me that too. you can do that with. Um, I, I if it was just a little smoother, uh, it would be like a, oh wow. Really cool. I think they just need to drill 50 more holes in the uh, play mat and make it so more things fit. Yeah. Because there's big gaps where nothing fits except for a five and a six or a six and a six. And that just leaves everything cold. So I think we're spending way too much time on this poor game that really we had high hopes for. And we do have another gear game coming up in the future. But this game, unfortunately, was one of the few games that truly disappointed us. There's only been a couple games I said I don't think I'd ever play again. And I believe this might be one of them. But that said, I think this would make a great wall art. It would make a great wall art. It's yeah. a very, like, it's a colorful kind of fun piece. And it's like, I can't get over how it, it does look cool. But it's a tough one yep. at I your think, own risk. I think he's taking this one home. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to know more about us, check us out at toyarchaeology.com. You can also find us on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to us and like us on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.